And hello there, and welcome to another video on Wondershare Dr. Phone's official channel, where we will help you solve all problems related to smartphones. I'm your favorite host, Francisco, and today I will assist you in ruining your Samsung phone so you have the utmost freedom of accessing restricted features. So before we head into discussing the in-depth instructions to root your phone, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated about our new videos. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. So here's an ultimate guide to rooting your Android phone via Wondershare Dr. Phone. As mentioned, the rooting process will break free your phone from the developer's restrictions to elevate the user experience. However, you need to have the technical knowledge to implement this process without any mistakes. People who want an easier way to root their Samsung smartphone for a unique interface and accelerated mobile performance can get help from Wondershare Dr. Phone. In addition, this smartphone rooting tool supports almost all Samsung models for easy accessibility for users worldwide. Using this tool, anyone can root their smartphone with a few simple steps which will be explained in this video. Nevertheless, if you face any difficulty in implementing these steps, Wondershare Dr. Phone has a dedicated customer service team that will guide you through the process. So the first thing you have to do is check your mobile condition and backup phone data. Before you move towards rooting the Samsung device, you need to prepare your phone for an optimal experience. For this purpose, I recommend you double check the device model and operating system version to avoid any restrictions during the process. Other than that, you have to make sure that your Samsung phone has at least 30% battery to avoid any interruption that can lead to data loss. After optimizing your device for this process, you must back up your phone to avoid data-related problems. To do so, I highly suggest that you utilize Dr. Phone phone backup tool to keep your personal data secure in case of any mishap. With this multifunctional tool, you will be able to back up 11 different file types, including messages, photos, videos, and so many more. Next, launch Dr. Phone and access the root feature. Upon backing up your data, install and launch Wondershare Dr. Phone on your system. Now establish a connection between your phone and PC to make use of the Samsung router. Once the connection is established, press the root feature after accessing your device from the My Device tab. Next, turn on the USB debugging on your phone. Once you access this feature, you will get on-screen instructions on how to start the rooting process on your phone. To ensure your Samsung device is correctly recognized during the rooting process, choose the File Transfer option after connecting your mobile to your computer. Then open the Settings application on your phone and access the About Device option. From here, go to the Software Information setting and tap the Build Number option up to 7 times. Now go back to the previous screen on your phone to access Developer Options to activate the USB debugging feature. Then enable the OEM Unlock option. Next, you have to follow the instructions provided on Dr. Phone phone router screen to perform the OEM unlock process. For this purpose, you have to enter the developer option settings and turn on the OEM unlock option. After opening the OEM unlocking feature, you can move forward with the process explained by Wondershare Dr. Phone Samsung Router. Next, access the download mode. As instructed on the tool screen, follow the steps explained below to access the download mode on your mobile phone. So for phones without Bixby, after turning off your mobile, press and hold the volume up and volume down button at the same time. Once you reach the warning page, hit the next button on this tool to proceed to the next step. For phones with Bixby, upon powering off your device, tap and hold the volume down plus Bixby plus power button simultaneously. Then proceed with the process by tapping the next button after reaching the warning page. And for phones with a home button, once you power off the Samsung phone, press and hold the volume down plus home plus power button at the same time to reach the warning page. Then simply hit the next button to proceed with the rooting process. Next up, fill in the Samsung device information in the tool. So moving forward, type the correct information in the relevant, ta in the relevant text boxes appearing on Dr. Phone's Samsung root screen. Upon filling in the name, model, country, and carrier data, Press the next button to proceed to the next step. Next, download and upload the latest firmware. Once you fill in the information, go to the download link for your device's firmware package on the relevant web page. After installing the most recent firmware, go back to download mode on your Samsung device with the help of the steps explained before. Now find the firmware package downloaded recently to unzip and upload the files in the designated area. Then you can initiate the flashing process by clicking the start button. And last 
Lastly, finalize the flashing process and install updates. Upon completing this process, your smartphone will restart, after which you will need to follow the on-screen instructions to finish the settings. At the same time, you need to install the necessary patching tool to make your Samsung device ready for the update. Moving forward, you have to launch the patching application and follow the prompts explained on screen to finish this process. Finally, download these patch files on your computer to proceed. Then enter download mode and upload file for system update. Now you need to enter download mode again using the steps explained above according to your device type. Then upload the four files to their respective locations. Afterwards, simply drag the patched AP file downloaded in the previous step to your PC. Now with the help of the patching tool, you can apply the update that will initiate the restart process on your Samsung phone. Do make sure to install the application and complete the rooting process. After you complete all of the steps, you will see a QR code for an Android device root management app on our tool interface. Now scan this QR code through your Samsung device to install this rooting application on your device. Upon finishing the installation process, your phone will be restarted. Once the patching process is completed, your Samsung phone will get successfully rooted. So after watching the whole video, you have now learned how to root the Samsung device to improve the workings of your phone. After implementing these steps, you will have the freedom to utilize the remote application at an accelerated speed. If you have any difficulty understanding these instructions, feel free to ask in the comments or contact our customer support team. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed all of this content. If you did, please make sure to let us know what you thought in the comments. Leave us a like as well if you did enjoy this video or if it helped you in any way. And please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. Now, until next time, have a good one.